video we're going to talk about the balance of your left hand, the changing balance of your left hand. So uh, in our previous videos we talked about how it's very important to have this shape rather than that square shape, so this pronated shape. So you're sort of leaning on your first finger, your fingers are running down the strings, your thumb is behind, um, roughly behind the second finger. And um, we want to try and play also on our finger pads, see the big fat pad of our fingers, we want to play on our fingertips, we want to play on the pads and that um, helps your hand to be more balanced and um, it also helps you to get a lovely big thick beautiful tone as opposed to a little, a little sort of thin sort of narrow tone which is nice for some things but uh, a nice big tone is what we're aiming for. So. Um, I'm going to play you through some of this, the uh, uh, the scales and the on the cello finger chart. So we start off with C major. This is the one that I give all of my beginner students. You can get this from my website. I'll leave a link um, uh, uh, as well for you. So make sure your first finger start is is above the first finger sticker. So like that. The second note is first finger D. So you can check that D against your open D. So that's a good way. If it doesn't sound the same, oh my goodness, it's sick. Then do that. Then slide it into position. So always keep your ears really alive. So we start with the open C, but you see that the first finger is now poised and you're lifting it from the base joints. These are the base joints here, like this. So it lifts and lands like that. So you tap the string whenever you put it down. Open C, first finger E. Do you see that it's sort of bent a little bit? So it's definitely not like this. It's bent a little bit. And then how do you get from one finger to the other? What you do is you bend the old finger. So you bend the one to get to the three, to get from the D to the E, you bend the one. Let your thumb move as well. So I use this thing called a floating thumb. So I let my thumb move up with the first finger. So, and then whenever you get to the three, you, what I do is I release the first finger, but I'm keeping it uh, nice and relaxing, but I'm keeping it over the slot where it was, over, over that, that first finger uh, slot where it was. Um, and then I'm putting my fourth finger down, so that's deep that easy, and I'm taking my third finger off. So the rule is, um, take the old finger off. So, and how do you get to the next note? Uh, by bending the old finger. So on the way up, one, bend the one to get to the three, like that. So that moving there. So you're, what you're doing is you're lowering your base joint. You're bending this finger by lowering the base joint. This is the base joint here. Great exercises to do this, but boingy, 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 boingy. Do you remember I said in my other videos that everything on the cello is like a little spring? Everything's springy. You know, the hair and the bow and the strings are springy. All like little shock absorbers in a car. So we want our, we don't want our fingers really stiff like this. We want a little bit of flexibility. So there's this little boingy boingy exercise here, like that. So what happens is we lower the base, we lower this bit of our hand, which lowers the base joint, which bends the finger. And because the finger, do you remember I said it's angled? The that that means that it directs the other fingers up the fingerboard. So up, by up I mean this way. It's really weird, but on the cello, this is up, really, because we go up in pitch. I know that literally we're going down to the earth, but we actually go up in pitch. Isn't that right? Whenever we go that way. If your finger was like uh, this and it was square and you bend your finger, you're going to go that way. You're just going to go straight across, which is not going to take you up. It's not going to do you any good. But remember, angle your hand back. So you're looking, you're going, oh, what's the time? Bend, lower the base joint, which bends the fingers. Remember, it's all like a little chain reaction, like a Mexican wave. You have a Mexican wave happening in your right hand. You've also got a Mexican wave happening in your left hand. Yeah, so lower the base joint, bend the finger, and that takes you magically to the new finger. Also, let don't forget to bring the third finger with you, your thumb, don't forget to bring the thumb with you. You take the one off, but you keep it where it was. And then you, you want to take it from the three to the four, you put the four down, you take the three off. So it's like they're like relay racer fingers. So a really good exercise is to do this. Uh, you could do this uh, on the G string, any string. Do it all the strings. Open. And then you do two of these chops. And then you can get it faster. So that's 
a little exercise that you can do. So on the way back down, you've got fourth finger C, three. Now you bend, now what happens is you straighten the three back and that brings you, you see you bend or straighten to get to the new finger. So on the way down you straighten, that takes you to the one, take the three off and then that's it. So that's how you do it. Same thing in the C string, we were doing C major scale. So bend to get to the three. why we keep our fingers where they were instead of doing this and letting them come up with a grip around the new finger is because whenever we play scales we're going to repeat sometimes we repeat the same pattern do you see that my fingers are roughly adjacent now to where they need to be on the next string if I did that which is possible. I used to do that for a long time. But now I'm trying to keep the old fingers where they were so that it's an easy adjustment just to move them over to the string next door. Instead of that. Which is also nice, but I think it's better. So we're going to go for that for the minute. Um, so have fun with that. So that's C major scale. And I actually went on to, yeah, that's C major scale. The first, the first two lines of the, of the um, note chart that I'm going to give you is C major scale. But practice each of the lines on their own. Just going up. You did that every day, four times every day. Make sure you're really consistent. If you play a wrong note, quickly adjust your finger. So have fun with that.